Let them pull all about mine ears. Present me death on the wheel, or at wild horse's heels, or pile ten hills on the Tarpeian rock, that the precipitation might downstretch below the beam of sight. Yet will I still be thus to them. You do the nobler. I muse my mother does not approve me further, who was wont to call the woollen vassals things created to buy and sell with groats. I talk of you. Why do you wish me milder? Would you have me false to my nature? Rather say, I play the man I am. Oh, sir, sir, sir. I would have had you put your power well on before you had worn it out. Let go. You might have been enough the man you are with striving less to be so. <laughs> Lesser had been the thwartings of your dispositions if you hadn't showed them how you were disposed ere they lacked power to cross you. Let them hang. I am burned to. Come, come. You've been too rough, something too rough. You must return and mend it. There is no remedy unless, by not so doing, our good city cleave in the midst and perish. Pray be counselled. I have a heart as little apt as yours, but yet a brain that leads my use of anger to better vantage. Well said, noble woman. What must I do? Return to the tribunes. <laughs> well, what then? What then? Repent what you have spoke. For them. I cannot do it to the gods. Must I then do it to them? You are too absolute. Though therein you can never be too noble, but when extremities speak. I've heard you say, honor and policy, like unsevered friends in the war, do grow together. Grant that and tell me in peace oh. what each of them by the other lose that they combine not there. Tush, tush. A good demand. Why force you this? Because that now it lies you on to speak to the people, not by your own instruction, nor by the matter which your heart prompts you, but with such words as are but rooted in your tongue, though but bastards and syllables of no allowance to your bosom's truth. Now this no more dishonours you at all than to take in a town with gentle words, which else would put you to your fortunes and the hazard of much blood. 